Um, the first time I saw MSF was in 1999 when I was a soldier um, in the British Army and I kept on thinking I was at the forefront of everything, kept on thinking I was the first, the lead person um, uh, and I kept on bumping into people who were ahead of me the whole time and that was Medicine Sans Frontier. Um, I was absolutely blown away by, by what I saw in MSF, I think. It, to see them so proactive, always out there, always conscious of, of their mission and their aim instead of just themselves. Um, my commitment to MSF is just a scratch on the surface uh, of you know, what, what the people obviously within MSF do. Um, but, uh, but mine is born by a, a real passion um, for, for a company um, and a real uh, belief in what they do. For me then, to have the opportunity in, in, in interviews where I talk about myself far too much, but, uh, but have the moments to talk about people who do something far better um, in the form of MSF is, uh, is, a, uh, is a small commitment, but it's a great thrill to do. And if along the way we can raise some funds or, or get other people involved in raising funds for them, then, um, then it's a tiny thing, but it's a, it's a great thrill to do. If you feel strongly about something, um, then it is worth throwing yourself and engaging in it um, as best you can. Um, you know, life is uh, short, and, and for the experiences that we live, it's worth committing to those. I think if you're here, here already checking out MSF, then you should read as much as you possibly can to discover the absolutely incredible, um, very uh, selfless and special things that they do around the world. Um, helping civilians in both man-made and natural disasters and, and given the opportunity I hope you'll find your own way of getting involved with them.